I've been through a lot as a refugee, so much struggle, so many trauma in life, so many hardship. When I was in refugee camp, being a Karen is just nobody. Seems like you're an alien. Being an American is you be part of the nation, a big nation, and you be part of the country, and you are somebody. You are a human. We need to be protected. We want to belong to some country because we are uh, countryless or stateless for so many years. Uh, when we come over here, we got opportunity to become a, having uh, our identity as a um, American. So it's a, one of the best country in the world. So that increase our happiness certainly <laughs> is a moment of proud and happiness and a sense of belongingness as well as the responsibility towards the country our mission really is to fully integrate people who are our clients whether they came as refugees or whether they came as immigrants to the U.S. It's very important to become a citizen, to participate in the political process, and also to gain the full benefits and rights. Everyone seems to be equal, regardless of who you are. That's what I like about America. I just recently had a, a student who became a citizen, and I have never seen such joy in someone's face. She was so excited to become a citizen, which is something we take for granted here. And to the Republic, and to the Republic. for which it uh, stands, for which it stands. My parents uh, became citizens, and I derived citizenship through them, so I did not have to naturalize like many of my clients did. I probably took it for granted until I pursued this line of work and saw what it meant to my clients and how hard they worked to gain citizenship in the U.S. and how difficult it is actually to qualify uh, for residency in this country. I improved my English and uh, learned uh, 100 civic questions, memorized 100 civic questions. Uh, I do not have that much time to go online and read. What I do is that I use a CD in my car. So every time I uh, start my car, the CD will start asking questions and uh, answering by yourself. Because of my educational background, uh, first of all, it wasn't hard for me to go through the process. Like I just took a week-long period, I went through the text the civic part, all the questions that would be asked in the interview. The biggest challenge is to gain permanent resident status and that, there's significant, that there are sufficient pathways for people to become permanent residents. Once they become permanent residents, it's really just a matter of maintaining good moral character, um, not having a criminal record. They actually have to pass a civics exam. So um, IIA does have um, beginner, intermediate, and advanced citizenship classes that help people get prepared for that civics exam. One nation, one one nation, nation under God, under God. Indi indivisible. indivisible. Citizenship has a lot of difficult words, a lot of abstract concepts that they have not been exposed to, like separation of power, um, even executive, legislative, those are words we don't normally use in English, so it's difficult for them to understand those concepts. Don't get nervous. Uh, start from the beginning, learn English, and not only speaking a spoken language, uh, you should be able to write and read. If you have limited English, probably you need to start from ESL classes. So let us uh, make sure that we are peaceful people, and we are hardworking people and we are responsible towards the every part of our community where we live. With liberty, With liberty. and justice for all. And justice for all. Thank you.